But first of all, no doubt about the big story. It's not a, a surprise, but it's still, in some sense, is a great shock to the system if you're a racing fan. And all you've known growing up with racing is Frankie de Tori being at the top of the sport. Let's hope he will be for another year to come. But when it gets round to Breeders' Cup at Santa Anita at the beginning of November 2023, that, God willing, will be his final appearance in the saddle. His last appearance on these shores will be Champions Day. He announced this on ITV yesterday. Uh, the news has been reverberating around the racing world. And last night, I was able to catch up with him to ask him exactly why now he'd made the decision. Well, obviously, um, you know, after talking to my parents and my wife and my family, um, you know, I decided that next year was going to be my last. Mm -hmm. uh, I, um, you know, obviously the first one to tell, I had to tell John. And then I had to tell some member of the staff and then I had to tell some other people. So the, the, the news was leaking out and I thought I might as well just say it because I left to say it sooner or later. So, um, yeah. And also because I just uh, made my 50 seconds birthday. So I thought, well, it's appropriate that I can tell everyone now that uh, next year is my last. How important is it to you that you still feel good, you still feel fit, you still feel like you want to ride racehorses? Presuming that you do feel all those things. Yeah, well, that's the reason why I decided that this year would be my last. I still physically feel very good. And I want to finish at the top. I want to finish on a high. I want to finish that I'm still uh, good enough to compete with everyone. And uh, yeah, so it you know it was a very difficult decision because my heart wants to carry on forever, but my 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 brain tells me, look, if you're gonna do this properly, uh, you know, you know, you well, you gotta pick one year, and I think next year uh, is the right one because, like I said, I still physically feel good, and I can uh, you know give it one last good go and and enjoy and give the public what they want, what they want to see. What did your parents and, and Catherine say when you, when you ran it by them or, or told them? Well, they were quite pleased. <laughs> I, w I wish they weren't actually, so it would have given you a, a more option to carry on, but you know, they were very pleased. Dad the same. He said, listen, uh, you know, I completely 100% behind you. And, uh, you know, I want to, uh, finish my career when I'm 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 still playing on the field, not uh, being put on the bench like you know, for a classic example, or Ronaldo last week, you know. Uh, so I wanna now then I still have good horses to ride, and I'm still feel good. I thought, yeah, let's call it the the day next year. How important was the back end of last season for you? You know, you had that wobble with John in the middle of the year. You got back on terms. It seemed like you had a bit of a point to prove. You suddenly started, every time you go to the races, you'd either, something dramatic would happen or you'd ride a group one with it. How, how important was it to have that period of kind of consolidation in September, October? Well, exactly, exactly then, Nick. I know when, when, when you look back, you know, I, I've got uh, Cialdini is one of the favourites for the Guineas. Uh, well, commissioning a John, she's one of the favorite for the 1000. Then, uh, you know, uh, is Pilo and Emily of John are staying in training. So it's a lot of kid to go to war with next year. Obviously, Kier Ross is a Gelding, he's staying in training. Lazu of my friend Mark Chan and Andrew Rose. And so, you know, it's, it's, it's appropriate for me that I feel that I can go out with, with a bang. So, uh, that's why it was important that I had a great end of the season. So it gave me a lot of confidence to to take this decision. How clear are you feeling in your head? It's a weird, it must be a weird feeling. Uh, 36, it's going to be nearly 37 years of, of riding racehorses, knowing nothing else. Absolutely. Um, I mean, uh, I was asked the same question by some of my friends. I said, my biggest problem now is, where I'm going to put all the tact that I've accumulated all these years. <laughs> I mean, I like, must have dozens of sandals everywhere. Now, look, um, I'm, this, I, I'm, I'm very pleased that I made this decision. As you know, next week, uh, well, this week, actually, I'm going to California. I'm going to start Boxing Day. Uh, it actually, it's quite ironic. This is where I started when I was 16 years old, at Santa Anita. So I'm looking forward to a, a very competitive winter. 
is a new challenge for me, but something that I'm looking forward to. And then I'll be back here for the spring. And, uh, you know, and, and it will be, uh, it'll be a lot of hard work. I've, I've got a, a lot of things to prove and, and there'll be a lot of uh, uh, goodbyes and a bit emotional. But uh, first and foremost, uh, I want to do my very best and, and, and go out with a bang, like I said. So, uh, you know, it will be my last skinnies. It will be my last derby, my last Royal Ascot, whatever. But like I said, I, I think I've got enough kit in my armour that I can uh, finish on a good note. It's Fingers crossed, I'm going to stay in one piece, obviously. Yeah, uh, obviously, that's the most important thing. I'm interested in, in just the mindset of the California project and then and then beyond that. Because when we spoke earlier in the year, you were saying, you know, I, I'm not doing this because it's some kind of great big testimonial or whatever. I'm doing I'm not I'm not playing at it. I've actually got a bit of, as you said, a bit of a point to prove. I want to win a ton of grade ones and be right up there at the best. Are you going to keep yourself pretty busy in, in the States? 100%. Listen, uh, it takes some commitments where, I mean, I've been keeping fit. Obviously, I've been a bit of a chicken. I haven't been in the stables yet because it's a bit too cold for me. But I've been training really hard for America. Uh, I had to forfeit my uh, Christmas uh, lunch with my family. And I'm going to actually start Boxing Day. So that takes some commitments. But, you know, my family's behind me. knows it's my last year and they all want me to do well. So I, I, I'm giving a full commitment because you can't do it half-hearted. And uh, yes, I am really looking forward to it. The, that, that's my first challenge. And then uh, when we get to the spring, is you know, obviously is, is uh, Dubai and the Guineas and so on and so forth. So, so one step at a time. Yeah, and if you could win a if you could win a Guineas for for John Gosden as well, that'd be that'd be quite interesting. It's a race that he's he's not had that much luck in down the years. He's only won one thousand Guineas, so that's a a bit of a target. You've got Chaldine in the in the two thousand as well. How, how good a horse do you think Chaldine is? Well, he's very tough. He's done nothing wrong. Uh, he won the Champagne in good style. He won uh, the Jewess, which is always a very good gauge for the Guineas. Uh, you know, he, he'd be up there in the betting and uh, he's, a, he's a Franco Colt. Then, uh, you know, he's, they seem like they're getting better with age. I am very much looking forward to it. Um, we're still months away, so but you know it's nice to dream, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's uh, like I said, that's a good incentive to have for the last year. I, I, I was talking to um, Chris Wall, who's just stopped being a trainer earlier on today, and um, sort of said to him about retiring. He said, "I'm not retiring. I'm just stopping training training racehorses." Do you feel a bit a bit the same? I'm not retiring. I'm just stopping riding horses. I can't imagine the word retire sits particularly easily with you, does it? Given your energy levels. It will be it will be a shock of the system, but I'm I'm preparing myself for it. And obviously, I would say, uh, uh, Ascot Champions Day could be my last in England, or maybe a, a family one in Newmarket. That's where I'm from. Uh, and then you know, really, I'm 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 thinking like Breeders' Cup, Santa Anita could be possibly my last public ride. After that, it'd be a period of getting used to of not, you know, not be riding races anymore. And then, yeah, it looks next year, or well, the year after, you know, uh, you know, hopefully find something to do with the press or the media, uh, talking about, you know, keeping fit and riding out. Maybe is a possibility as well. But I, I, I'm not, I'm not looking beyond. Uh, my riding yet. I think uh, I'm going to focus and give my complete 100% on next year because I want to make it count. Um, is there something that you would really like to do that doesn't involve... Win well, <laughs> uh, well, in racing, I love to win the July Cup because I'm, I'm a new market boy and it's the only group one I ever won. So hopefully Lazu or uh, Kiros might my, 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 my make it there. But um, no, no, look, uh, I, I, like, I like to finish in one piece and uh, on a good note. And then uh, it's just job done. When you look back on, on all of it, I mean, it's, it's a ridiculous body of work. Have you got, you're, you're nearly at 300 group one winners, aren't you? Group or grade one winners. Yeah, close. I don't know. Yeah, I'm very close. Yeah, but you know, look, we we can talk about my career when I stop. But now it was just uh, just to inform everyone that uh, 
yeah, look, uh, it, it's going to be my last year. I, you know, I want to enjoy it. I'm going to give my everything and um, I hope you, you get behind me and, um, and give me a good farewell. Yeah, I think we can probably manage that. Um, thanks a lot, Frankie. Good luck. Thank you, Nick. Thank you. How we will miss him. Frankie de Tori, who has been at the top of his profession almost since the day he started riding in the UK in 1986. And what a long and rich and colourful career he's had. 282 Group or Grade 1 victories. And it was quite noticeable there that he didn't really want to luxuriate in those for the time being. That's for the end of the year, he says. Now he wants to focus on the task in front of him, which begins in earnest at Santa Anita on Boxing Day. I reflected that, in theory, given that Coronation Day is now 2000 Guineas Day, he could, in fact, take a ride in the Kentucky Derby and then maybe get back to ride Chaldean and commissioning in the 2000 and 1000 Guineas. But whatever, he's got an awful lot of ammunition. And very interesting that he was already highlighting horses like Kin Ross and Lazoo for his great friend Mark Chan, who could complete that elusive full set of Group 1 races in the UK by taking the July Cup at the July Festival at Newmarket in the first week in July. So much to look forward to in Frankie de Tori's farewell, some may say testimonial year in the saddle at the age of 52.